Hi guys, I'm Eileen. If you're new here, I post a video every week about fashion and luxury, so be sure to join my YouTube family. Recently, I've read an article that says women are prepared to spend a lot of money on an item that does nothing that a supermarket plastic bag can't do. Now, I think that is a very strong statement. I don't think that statement will sit right with a lot of handbag lovers like me and you. However, I cannot argue with the fact that Luxury handbags are a luxury, and because they are so expensive, I can understand why some people think such a purchase can never be justified. So today, I want to share with you the 5 reasons why buying luxury handbags can actually be a good idea. And to make the video less biased, I will also be sharing with you the 5 reasons why buying luxury handbags is a bad idea. The first reason I buy luxury handbag is because of the quality. Now, not all luxury handbags are created the same, but generally, designer handbags are made with better quality and craftsmanship. In fact, you can see a lot of vintage handbags on the secondhand market, and a lot of them are still holding up very well. Certain handbags are also made with very durable material. So for example, the Louis Vuitton Dame Ibain canvas. I personally have two pieces in my collection. I use them a lot, but because they are so hard wearing, I'm sure they will still be in good shape in 10 or 20 years. Along the same line with good quality, buying luxury handbags can also mean a fairly low cost per wear because you can use them longer. Before I made my own money, I used to buy bags which cost 20 to 30 pounds, and understandably, they are not as well made, so I had to replace them every 6 to 12 months. So although they were cheaper, I feel like I was constantly buying bags, whereas now, I'm certainly shopping a lot less because I just want to make sure I use my handbags enough to make my money worth. And to be honest, even if I stop adding any more pieces to my collection, I know I will be okay because I know my bags will last me a long long time. The third reason why buying luxury handbags can be a good idea is because many of these bags are classic and timeless. I know my Chanel Classic Double Flap or my Birkin will still very much be in trend next year or in 30 years. So it's lovely to know I can still use the same bags in my 50s and not look out of place. What more, I know I can pass these bags down as family heirloom and instead of being a museum display, I know someone will be able to enjoy and use these bags. The next reason for getting luxury handbags is the resale value. Certain luxury brands like Louis Vuitton, Hermes and Chanel tend to do very well on the second-hand market, especially with their classic pieces. So you'll be able to get a good amount of money back as long as the bag is in a good condition. Furthermore, there are always price increases with these bags. So if you get a bag today, you know the price will only go up and not the other way. So really, you can enjoy the bag today and still be able to get back some money in the future. I am certainly not a big fan of constantly selling and buying, but it's nice to know it's an option. Reason number five for getting luxury handbags is the customer service. Now, I don't mean getting served a glass of champagne, although that is a very nice perk. What I mean is the peace of mind you get when you buy the handbag, because a lot of luxury brands are happy to help if you have a problem with a purchase. My friend's mom bought a Louis Vuitton Neverfull about two years ago. After about five months, part of the stitching was becoming undone. She took it back to the store, they checked the receipt and the bag and said to her she could just return the bag and pick another one of that price range from the store. Now of course, you'll probably rather not have any problems with your bag and not every luxury brand will offer you a new bag. But it's nice to know if you have any quality issues with the bag, someone will look after you. Next, I will talk about the 5 reasons why buying luxury handbags can be a bad idea. First of all, you absolutely should not buy a designer handbag if you cannot afford it. As the name suggests, it's a luxury purchase, so really we can all do without it. Don't go into debt because of a handbag. Don't pay with your credit card if you cannot pay in full the next month or use your parents' credit card for that matter. Shop responsibly because no one should go hungry for a handbag. 
Next, you also want to consider the opportunity cost, which basically means the money you're spending on the bag might be better spent on something else. I guess a lot of people will argue there's always opportunity cost when you're buying a designer handbag. However, there might be times when you actually have to give up on that dream bag for either investment, education, travel, or healthcare. My friend had been saving up for a Chanel handbag for years, but then she decided to spend that money on braces instead. And you know what? I thought that was an awesome decision. So if you're ever in a situation like that, really think long and hard about what should be your priority. Reason number three, if you get stressed out carrying a designer handbag, it's probably not a good idea to own one. Now, of course, designer handbags are expensive, so it's only normal we pay extra attention to them. But some people actually find the experience a bit daunting. So for example, you might be constantly trying to dodge everyone on the street, or you might even have a panic attack the minute you see a raindrop. For me, smooth shiny leather stresses me out because I'm a bit anxious about getting scratches. So I just avoid altogether. The point is, if you're going to spend a lot of money on a handbag, it really should spark joy and not be a burden. Reason number four, if you get tired of your purchases very quickly, buying luxury handbags is probably not the best idea unless if you have unlimited supply of cash. For many of us, buying a new bag every other day is just not realistic. So if you are someone who will only enjoy your handbag for a short while before you get bored and start shopping for another, it will be a very expensive game. Even if you sell your handbags, chances are you will end up losing some money. So ideally, it's best to do a lot of research to make sure the bag is 100% right for you, then enjoy the bag as much as you can to make your money worth. Last but not least, I would not recommend anyone to buy luxury handbags if they are doing it purely because of the influences around them. For example, it might be peer pressure, you might work in an office where everyone is carrying Louis Vuitton and Chanel. If you happen to like these bags, then by all means, get one and enjoy it. But if you're not really interested, don't feel like you have to buy a bag just to blend in. Talking about influencers, Nowadays, we are so exposed to social media and sometimes it can be hard to not compare yourself to someone you've not even met. So be sensible and take charge of the information you get from the internet. For instance, if you're interested in a certain bag, YouTube is a fantastic place to do your research, but don't start buying luxury handbags just because everyone else is doing it. There you have it. Those are the reasons why you should and should not buy luxury handbags. I know this is a luxury channel, but I always encourage mindful and responsible spending because no one should go hungry because of shopping. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.